Hello dear viewers, here I am in Carlisle's house in London. It's in the borough of Chelsea. So Carlisle was born the same year as John Keats and he died in 1881, the age of 86. He was a celebrated Victorian man of letters coming from a stonemason's family in a village in the Scott Lowlands, going to Edinburgh University at the age of 14 and being a private tutor to aristocratic families. He later married his pupil, be considered a bit of a no-no these days, though he and his wife had no children, and he moved to London at age 39. He'd been writing for the Edinburgh Review and so on, hoping to have greater literary success. So he wrote many works of philosophy and history, was quite a polymath, fluent in several languages, best known for his um, historical novel on the French Revolution, more or less launched the genre of historical novels. So here we are, and they've got all the furniture, it's all in the right place, and has been preserved since um, 12 years after his death. Open to the public, run by the National Trust, and isn't it fabulous? I'll show you the man's death mask over here. He's buried in his home village in Scotland, very self-effacing. There it is. He turned down a baronetcy, he turned down being buried at Westminster Abbey, which is where most distinguished personages are interred. So that's it, highly worth a visit, superb volunteers, telling a lot about it, an absolute wealth of things to read. He corresponded and met everybody who was everyone, prime ministers, writers, whether American or British. Uh, and uh, he was living in Chelsea, which is a village on the edge of London at the time when he moved here. Rented this house for £35 a year. It costs slightly more now. So do come along, and uh, even if you're not particularly into Carlisle, it's a wonderful example of an upper middle class Victorian house. He and his wife had separate bedrooms, possibly explained why they never had any children. There's a beautiful little garden at the back. I can't film and show you everything. You come here yourself. Anyway, that's all from Carlisle's house.